Alright, so my third favorite figure in this set is this Punisher, and he's actually a pretty good toy. It's just that I have so many Punishers, I didn't really need another one, but it is the Netflix Punisher. And did I mention that there's a piece in here to build that man thing? Let's check him out. So this is why it's hard to get excited about getting another Punisher figure. I'm not going to pretend like I didn't want this Netflix Punisher because I'm a really big fan of the show and I was really excited to get it and I think they did a pretty good job of it. But when you got this many Punishers, it just um, kind of half the excitement shot right off the bat. Let me go ahead and go through them. I think this, this is the Thunderbolts. This one's probably my favorite one that Marvel Legends did. That's my favorite one that Mezco did. There's a Mezco Deluxe. And because I sold that other one while I was at work, I missed out on it. So I guess I get penalized for having a job. So that really sucks. And I'm not going to spend 400 bucks on eBay for it. So I'd really like to get that someday. Maybe they'll re-release it. They probably won't. There's the Walgreens exclusive. There's the Select. I don't normally get Select unless it's a bigger character. But it's a Punisher, and as you see, I have a hard time passing on Punishers. And then just here are some of the other ones. Um, there's the old movie one back there. So let's get to this one. Alright, so here's this Punisher. First off, you see he's got that shiny plastic, which I'm not a big fan of. It looks like he ran out of lotion, so he just went straight for the baby oil. And also in the hair, that must be some of that Guido cream to make that hair shine up the way that it does. The plastic, um, taken, he just he must have been rainy out that day, so he like had to put like that leather shine on it, you know, to protect the leather and all that. And he just went ahead and got carried away with it, because pretty much the whole figure is extremely shiny. So I don't know why they can't do like a flat plastic or a little flat paint, or kind of like an overspray with some kind of a flat, just to give it a better look. Other than that, the looks of this toy, it's pretty much perfect. Like I love the skull on him. I think they did a really good job on that. Like that, I mean, that looks exactly like it did in the show. The articulation on this, um, let's see. Single elbow, bicep split, okay. It's the same shit we've been getting for a while, so that's all we're gonna do for the articulation. As far as the rest of this figure, there's no holster for the gun, so you gotta have them hold the guns if you don't want him to have the holding the guns, then you got that weird trigger finger hand. So you pretty much have to have him holding the gun because he doesn't come with extra hands. So if you take the gun out, you don't have like a fisted hand or a relaxed hand. So you pretty much got to double fist this guy at all times. As far as the guns go, I think the, the sculpt on him is actually really nice. They could have put a little love on the paint, but you know Marvel Legends, they just like to do the bare minimum sometimes. This gun has that kind of like weird cheap marbling effect in the plastic. The sculpt of the gun is actually pretty decent though. Like you see this old one, it's got holsters, straps, you know, places where you can put guns. I don't know why they couldn't have did like something, like just something hidden in the jacket or, or, or something. You know, give them a little bit of an option. Like these things, they basically come with I mean, if you call the guns accessory, I, I think that's kind of like a mandatory piece. So that's really not much of an accessory. That would be like making a Punisher without a skull on his chest. So I'm going to say it's like zero accessories, no alternate head. I mean, they did like one where his hair is like shaved down quite a bit instead of like the Guido hair. Um, they, I mean, they had options. They just didn't feel like doing it. It'd be nice if he had like a gun rack. Like there, there's tons of stuff you can do with the Punisher to make this thing a little bit cooler than it is. They didn't feel like doing it. I already showed you a collection. It's Netflix Punisher. If you're a fan of the show, you got to pick it up. And did I mention that you got to pick it up anyways if you want to build that man thing? Thanks for watching.